Hey, Focus fans, welcome back to Real Destinations. We tour the locations that make our favorite movies look and feel real. We return to England to see some of the beautiful locations used in Autumn de Wilde's Emma. This is a new adaptation of the famous novel by Jane Austen, starring Anya Taylor-Joy as the titular character. It is exactly as I planned. He is in love with you. Emma is a headstrong young woman in 19th century England who loves to play matchmaker with all of her friends. Miss Woodhouse has invited us to Hartfield! Described as handsome, clever and rich, Emma resides at Hartfield, a beautiful manor house in the countryside. And scenes for Hartfield were shot here at Fell Place in East Sussex. The estate spans over 300 acres of South Downs National Park and is comprised of several villages and farms. Fell Place was originally constructed during the reign of King Henry VIII, but an extensive remodel in the 18th century gave it this impressive Georgian facade. Let's go take a closer look. The Gage family have lived here for over 500 years and currently Lord Gage resides here with his family. So how did Fell Place come to be the main setting for Emma? And I think Autumn happened to come round and suddenly thought this was the, the authentic family house. It's got a lot of history attached to it and we've been trying to get a major film for a long time. And what was the process like to prepare for the production? Houses have been completely changed and rooms being completely changed. Wild colours, some of which we loved, particularly like the colour of this wallpaper, which is lovely. It was great fun. Oh, and this is Emma's bedroom. I recognise it from many scenes in the movie. Hey, Grandma Mark. You must be the best judge of your own happiness. I think this area, this corridor, is probably one of my favourite places in Emma. I love when she sits up here. It is a beautiful house. It looks a bit French because the stone came from Caen. It's very interesting, taking over. It's a house that needs living in. Lord Gage, thank you so much for having me. I love being here. Well, thank you for coming. In the film, Emma and her friends visit the fictional Highbury to do their errands and for social engagements. And those scenes were shot here in this quaint village in the Cotswolds, situated alongside the River Eye. And this village is just over 1,000 years old. I'm afraid Highbury may yet disappoint you, Mr. Churchill. So this room looks very different than it does in the movie. This is a local village hall that was completely transformed into being the haberdashery shop. This is a beautiful village, but we had to make it more beautiful for the film. Uh, it's also uh, a period film, so we had to remove any modern things like lights or security cameras or cover them to make it fit with the time period. Cue the horse. <laughs> <laughs> We've arrived at Wilton House, which appears in the film as Mr. Knightley's opulent Donwell Abbey. This location has been used in many different films and TV series over the years, including the Focus Features favourite Pride and Prejudice. And it's easy to see why Wilton has been called England's most beautiful country house. Although Wilton House opens its doors and grounds to the public, it is actually the residence of the Earls of Pembroke. And in fact, this house has been with that family since the 1500s. These ornate interiors reflect the 17th century and house an impressive collection of artwork. Oh, this is brilliant indeed. This is called the Double Cube Room and it's very easy to see why it's been featured in many productions. Do you not feel transported? I can hardly believe that we remain in England. Wilton's already dressed, really. We didn't have to do much to it to come in and film. Um, it also works outside. It's got some beautiful gardens and estates. 
It has been such a pleasure to return to England and get to see some of the gorgeous locations used in Emma. And both Fell Place and Wilton House are open to the public year round. So if you are in the area, I highly recommend stopping by for a visit. It is almost enough to make me think of marrying. And of course, you can see all of these dazzling homes in Emma now playing only in cinemas. I'm Alicia Malone. I'll see you at the next Real Destination.